Hello everybody, in this video we will be using the Triangle Congruence Postulate HL, the Triangle Congruence Postulate SSS, and some basic geometry. So, let's get started! So, in this video we're going to be proving that when the radius is perpendicular to a chord, it bisects the chord. So, if we look to our statement and reason chart, we have OC is perpendicular to AB, and that is given. OC is, if we look at our diagram, OC is the radius, and AB is the chord. The next statement is that OA is equal to OB, and that is because OA and OB are both radius, which I've notated as R. And we need to prove that AM is equal to BM. Because when AM is equal to BM, that would mean that OC is splitting AB into equal parts or bisecting it. So if we look at our diagram, we can see that we have two right triangles. The right triangles, because OC is perpendicular to AB, making them both right triangles. And if we look closely at the triangles, we can see that OM is common in both triangles. So OM is equal to OM because it is a common side. So now if we look again at our triangles, we have a hypotenuse r, which is equal to a hypotenuse r, and we have a leg of both of these triangles, which are common, om. So that means we can use the hl congruency postulate, which means that triangles oma and omb are congruent. So triangle oma is congruent to triangle OMB and the reason is HL congruency and since these two triangles are congruent that means all of their angles and all of their sides are equal and that includes sides AM and BM so that means AM is equal to BM, and that is proven. So now, let's do the reverse proof. So in the reverse proof, we know that OC bisects the chord AB. What we need to prove is that OC is perpendicular to AB. So if we go to a statement and reason chart, we are given that AM is equal to BM. So it's given, that means that OC is bisecting AB. We're given that OA is equal to OB because they're both the radius, which I've notated as R. And we need to prove that OC, the radius, is perpendicular to AB, or the chord. So if we look, we again have two triangles, and they share a common side, OM. So OM is equal to OM because it is a common side. And now, if we look at these two triangles, there is this side, which is equal to this side, AM, which is equal to BM, and OM, which is common. So that means we can use the SSS congruency postulate to say that these two triangles are congruent. So that means triangle OMA is 
congruent to triangle OMB because of SSS congruency. And since these two triangles are congruent, that means that all of the angles and all of the sides of these two triangles are the same. And that includes angles OMA and OMB. So that means those two angles are the same. So angle OMA is equal to angle OMB. And this comes down from congruency. So if we look at the two angles again, we can see that they add up to a straight line. So if we look, they add up to a straight line, meaning they are supplementary. So since the two angles are supplementary and they are equal, that means angle OMA plus angle OMB is equal to 180. And since they're the same, I can say, for example, I can say angle OMA is equal to 180 by 2 because these two angles are equal. And this means angle OMA is equal to 90 degrees. So that means if we look over here at our diagram, angle OMA is a 90 degree angle. And that means that, si that lines OC and chord AB are perpendicular. So this is proven. So we have proven that when the radius is perpendicular to the chord, it bisects the chord, and when the radius bisects the chord, that means it is perpendicular to the chord. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.